This is an exciting Alaskan train experience. Hey guys, we're at the Alaskan Railroad Depot and we are getting on the train with gold service. Woo! And we are going to... SeaWorld! Yeah! We're in Anchorage right now. It's I currently 5.30 a.m. and our train will leave at 6.15. Yeah. We're going inside a train depot. Look, we're about to board. Look how long the train is. Dad, you heard that? You hear what Kyra said? This is a big car. She just said it's a big car. I did not mean that. They call it car, actually. See? What? No, she meant the whole thing is a car. Uh, <laughs> no, a train. No, no, no. I meant train. No, no, she I meant big train. car. She knows her car. Stop it. Kyra, what kind of car? <laughs> is this a Lamborghini? This is a Tesla. Wow, you don't We're going to give her a ticket to the train conductor and get on. This is a fancy door. Wow, this is a very slow stairs. Hi, good morning. Go ahead and grab a cup of coffee, OJ or ice water. It's okay. How do we know which one is what? We're in the front then. This part of the train is the Gold Star service and it has very large windows with an outdoor viewing deck. Hey guys, the train's starting to move now. It's going pretty slow, but I'm pretty sure it'll speed up soon. Just over 110 miles of train track lay between Anchorage and Seward, a coastal town on the tip of Resurrection Bay. This is the Alaska Railroad's famed coastal classic route. It's earned that fame for the diverse and beautiful scenery it travels through, much of which is viewable only from board train. We're going downstairs to the restaurant where we get to choose our breakfast. I'm so excited on what I can eat. The Coastal Classic route takes just over four hours. When leaving from Anchorage, the train briefly travels through town before heading east into the wide open scenery of the Turnigan Arm. Wow, look outside! It's so pretty! Just look at the sky! Up on top of this hill, oh, there's number six up there. Oh, it's way up there. Look at the mountain sheep. You usually see them at the cliffs, and it's just amazing at how they balance and prevent themselves from falling. It's potatoes, bacon, and scrambled eggs. There's also The bistro's over here. After eating, we wanted to explore the train, but that means we had to get to another car. But when we got there, it got really loud and wobbly, which scared me a lot. This ride is diverse with the beautiful scenery as we travel through, but this view can only be seen aboard the train. Moose on the right, moose on the right. Moose on the right. Where, where is the moose? And just like that, folks, they're there and gone. Check this one on the left. There's some of the baby little segments. Almost ready to start. Ah, the goose. Baby goose. And then they're gone, so be real quick to look. Keep your eyes kind of wandering. We're finally at the Bistro restaurant. I can't wait to see what they have. Okay, get something. Who's on the right? Oh, on the right. Right here, right here. Where? Moose. I don't know. Passing by the bistro now. Oh, I think it's over there. Massive. What you looking? But it has over the years. 
explain the evolution of tourism here in Alaska. One of the things that is fun to do is to do a rafting tour. Hi. We're 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 in another car. That's what they call it. I don't know which one we are in. Oh. But wait, what now? It doesn't move. But this has a food, like snacks, on like where you choose yourself, unlike the one we were in where it's like a menu. I we need a table. It's right over there. I'm warming up your burrito. Yeah. I am. Oh my gosh. Okay. I am getting cup noodles and cookies. He is getting a breakfast burrito because we are still hungry from breakfast. Okay. This is going to be our next stop, Spencer Whistle Stop. It's just long enough to let off a couple of guests, like we said, that are going to be up there in the water a little bit later on. I'm afraid the thing's going to spill. Spencer Whistle Stop is right at the base of Spencer Glacier. I can spin. To the left hand side down this nice valley. And also really I didn't. It's a big glacier. It's really obvious when you see it. And it's going to be a good one for getting pictures. The, let's see, 10 o'clock position. You can see Deadman Glacier really well. Also there's an upstairs. It's really easier to see the bright colors in our glaciers. So what do you have there? Doodles. Oh. <laughs> he has burrito. You have oh, weird looking noodles. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, they do look weird. What do I have here? It's a beef noodle. Beef flavor. Mine is chicken flavor. Oh my god, it's so nice. Railroad worker in the early days. So pretty. Of the railroad. Yeah. He was a timekeeper and in charge of serving everybody that worked at the different section houses. So his job was to go from section house to section house <laughs> with both yeah. holding on and paying the employees. Pretty important job. One winter, he was making his way from section house oh, to section sure. house, oh, and sure. he never oh, arrived. Yes. I think you and mom argued. Uh, later on, they found his body oh, not too far from where he should have been, but definitely not in a safe situation. He was frozen to death in the storm, and his gold bullet was, was missing. So the legend wow. is that that gold is somewhere out here in the forest. Still lost to this okay, day. It's the spy tunnels again if you want to get a picture of the inside the tunnel. There are lots of opportunities for that. But in between the tunnels, we're going to have pictures of this gorgeous gorge off to the left hand side, Flats of River Gorge. As we progress through these series of five tunnels, we're going to show another dimension. That's nice. Oh, it feels like a floating. No, he's going to have glass. Look at the mountain we're passing by. It's so green and look at that waterfall. So cool. Those noodles were so good. Since we're full, we're heading back to the gold service car. Go. Go. Oh, glacier, to the left. Is that glacier? I don't even know. The original loop and section of tracks through this area to get the trains over the Kenai Mountains here. These high alpine landscapes are vibrantly colored by meadow grasses and wildflowers through the summer. The route ends in seaward after descending through Moose Pass and along the bright blue Kenai Lake. Ooh, look at that seaplane! I think it's about to take off. It's not something I see every day. It's so cool looking! We're on the Gold Star Service outdoor viewing deck and we can see everything. It's really nice and you can breathe in all the air, except it does get my hair everywhere.
from this view, you can really see how long it is. Look at that! I didn't think the train was this long, but it looks really cool. Look at that yellow stripe. But the train makes a stop in Girdwood and Portage before heading off into worldless wilderness for the next 40 miles. We've seen some of the glaciers already. The Spencer, Bartlett, and Trail. They're so pretty. We are in Seward now. That was my train experience in Alaska. I saw so many beautiful things and glaciers, which I didn't know I would see to be honest. But I'm so excited to see what's gonna happen next in my adventure. Bye.